Welcome again, everyone, to Movies in the Man Cave. I'm Cody. And I'm Jared. We have kept our promise. We went to see Transformers Dark of the Moon this week, and we're here to give you our take on the new movie. Yeah. Uh, I'll start by giving you the plot. There's a bunch of robots, and they're fighting each other. Yeah, you know, an explosion. <laughs> two and a half hours, I'm going to condense it down to that. That's about as much plot as you need to know. So, yeah. Jared, what would you think of the giant robot fight? The giant robot fights were amazing. Um, this one... The second movie, I didn't really dig too much. Um, had good fight scenes and all that stuff, but like the story kind of lost me. Third one had it all for me. I mean, it had like I was pretty impressed with the acting on all parts. It had the Megan Fox's replacement. Um, she did pretty good, I thought, uh, for being a first gig and being a model thing or whatever. Um, the storyline I thought was pretty good. Like they had a good story to it, and then like you're saying, the action scenes in this thing. I think the entire last hour of the movie was. Just non-stop action. Um, we did see it in 3D. And usually I don't like 3D movies at all because they give me headaches and everything. But this one was awesome in 3D. Uh, just had that depth of field and everything. Felt like you were actually right there. Not, you know, the sticky outy stuff going on. Uh, so yeah, all It wasn't all gimmicky. Was, it wasn't gimmicky at all. No, it was done really well. So I dig it. All right. Uh, I agree with you on a lot of points, not all the points. Um, I liked Megan Fox better than the replacement girl. Um, yeah. But, I mean, it's pretty much one or the other. It doesn't right. really matter. Uh, I did like Shia LaBeouf again. Yeah. Uh, people are just so down on that guy. But when you when you uh, watch him in these movies, he plays the perfect quirky kid, but also, you know, he can handle the action bits. I don't yep. know. I've heard people call him, like, Shia the Butthole, but <laughs> I, think <laughs> he's, I think he's okay. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. I agree with you about the 3D. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only the second 3D movie I've seen in the theaters, uh, and I don't plan to see too many more, but this one I knew I wanted to see. I heard great things about it. They planned the whole movie around the 3D, and like you said, it added, you know, it added more dimension, which obviously right. three-dimensional, that's what you expect it to do, but it looked so nice and yeah. so real. And there's the scenes in there, it's not ruining anything, where there's the, the guys in the flying suits, Yeah, and the camera goes with them on parts, and it... It felt like you were right there. It was uh, just yeah, it was amazing. You're soaring through yep, the streets flying, of Chicago yep. with these And that was army really, dudes. really well done. So, uh, The robot fights. You know, and that's, that's what I like. You know, it's, I don't really care about the plot as much. It wasn't perfect, but um, you get Bumblebee in there, and he's doing all his transformations while he's flowing through the air. Yep. And obviously Optimus Prime's back, and he's yeah. kicking some butt. With some new weapons and such. And they do the slow motion. Like, everything is timed so well with the slow motion. Like, there's a scene with, like, the uppercut through the chest and then up the chest and blows the off dude's the head. head off. And it's just... It was a long movie as it was, but I would have been totally fine if they made it twice as long and showed the whole thing in slow motion. Yeah. I love the slow yeah. motion watching those it's robots true. go around. Sometimes it's too fast. You can't see what's going on. Yeah. So, slow it all down. I would have been totally okay yeah. with that. That's sweet. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really did. So, better than the second one, I'd say it's right on par with the first. Right. I enjoyed the I first one a lot. So, yep. and it looks like this is maybe the end of the series. Yeah, it looks like they didn't really leave off a cliffhanger. I guess we didn't stay to the end of the credits. So, uh, there might have been something there. But I doubt it. I'm I would not be surprised end. if we see a prequel at some point. Maybe the yeah. war on Cybertron, right. how that all happened or something. And that but would be kind of cool, too. We'll see what happens. But right. as for now, looks like the end, and I think it's a very good ending to the very trilogy. Good. Excellent yeah. movie. So go see it, and I will actually recommend seeing it in 3D. 3D, yeah. How about that? Weird. Not like me. All right. So, quotes. quotes. Yeah. Yeah. Who was our winner last uh, week? Brianna Ehrenberg was uh, second time she's won this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she's on top of this. So. All right. Let's give her some competition, people. You need to start guessing. Yeah. Let's take a look at last week's clip. So I heard from Jerry, you tools think you're athletes now? That's funny. I didn't know athlete had three syllables. Athlete, that's amazing. <laughs> the actor is David Spade. The movie is The Benchformers. Benchformers. That went with last week's baseball theme. Uh, I, I actually like that movie. I don't yeah, know if it's, it's got good reviews, but yeah. It's got laughs throughout. Yeah. I, I liked it. It's not Oscar worthy, but it's No, no, no. It was an entertaining film, I exactly. thought. Exactly. So uh, that's that quote. This week's quote, if you can guess it, put it down in the comments, is there isn't a Sears and Roebuck here. Just grab the snake. Hmm. 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 So, if you can figure that out, put it in the comments. 
I don't care where you put the comments anymore. Put yeah, it on YouTube. Put it wherever. Put it on our Facebook. Put it on the movies in the man cave. We'll find at it area eventually. voices. Yeah. Get the comments out there. We had actually a really good response this week, and I'd like to keep that going. We did, so. Yeah, nice back and forth between the viewers and everything, so. That's what we like to see. Right. Uh, Let's talk about what's coming out this week. This week, uh, I guess probably the one I'm looking forward to the most would be Horrible Bosses. It looks funny. It looks hilarious. And Jennifer Aniston plays like the, uh, whatever the previous caller, like a man-eater boss, where she's just like, I don't know if she's like a sex addict or what, but she just, it seems kind of out of her ballpark for... For acting, um, my God, it's got Colin Farrell in there. His character yeah. looks great. It's just, I mean, it's very <laughs> much along the lines of what Tom Cruise did in Tropic Thunder. Yeah, with a bald and added the gut and, and stuff. And just weird. But yeah, I loved that, and I don't know why I wouldn't love this as well. Right, so I think that one looks really good. What else is coming out? Zookeeper with Kevin James. So, right. kind of night at the museum spoof. Uh, or yeah, what? Uh, it's pretty much. Paul Blart Mall Cop, but we've moved from <laughs> from the mall to the from zoo. the mall to the zoo. Like talking animals. I don't know. I wasn't really excited. I saw a preview and it looked like it actually might have some funny moments. Yeah. But, I like Kevin James, but overall, I don't so. know if it's something I'll be clamoring yeah. to see. So I don't know. We shall see what Kevin yeah. James is doing with his career. Uh, that's about it for that's this week, it. I guess. Uh, last week we did our baseball movies. You guys gave us a response. You, yeah. you didn't necessarily agree with our list. You said maybe our uh, viewing library was a little small and suggested a couple baseball movies for us to see. So yeah. that's kind of what we did. Yep. Uh, we have uh, Bull Durham we checked out because that was the one that was in everybody's comment. So well, We must have got five, six comments about Easily. it. Easily. see Bull yeah. Durham. And so, how unmanly we were for not seeing Bull Durham. We will have a mini review of that coming up later this week, so yep. make sure you tune in and see if it makes our top five baseball lists. Who knows? Who knows? All right, we will see you then. I'm going to transform into next week's Jared. Please don't put that at the end of the video.